first step to making the frame is to, I'm using a fro. You can also do this with a, a splitting maul or a series of wedges. I'm going to use a fro for a little more accuracy. working slowly. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that everything is roughly the same dimension. Just checking, make sure I have roughly the same size for everything. Not length, we're going to cut it next. Just want to make sure the dimensions are the same. Now that I've got these uh, dimensioned and squared up, I'm using them to measure a line right here. So you're going to line this up at your end, and then you're going to draw a line. And then you'll take your other side, you can actually take another one and do it on the other side. And you'll draw a line. Alright, this is how your frame is going to go together. So then what I'm going to do is take a fret saw, any saw will work. And I'm just going to make a nice straight plumb line, just doing it by eye. I'm going to go down about a quarter of an inch. You can measure it to be sure. I'm pretty confident that I'm exactly the same on both sides. Alright, now I'm going to take this out a quarter of an inch. I'm going to take this out with a chisel. Alright, so I'm arranging it now. You can see how I'm dry fitting it. And one of the things you'll notice here, if you come down here, is that when I dry fit it up here, down here, it's got a little rock to it in this joint right here. See that? So you can just use a file or a, 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 ra a wood rasp and you can do your micro adjustment. Okay, now that I have it dry fit the way I want it, micro adjusted using both the chisel and the wood rasp, I'm going to go ahead and glue all my joints. Get a decent amount of glue in there so it squeezes out. All right. I don't care if I make a mess with the glue. I want to make sure I get enough glue so it doesn't pull apart. It's just a basic butt joint, so got to make sure that it's glued well. I'm going to get it down as flush as possible. And then I go ahead and I'll, I'll sand that. I'll just sand these over. You can use a, a wood rasp, a real smooth wood rasp, which is actually probably what I'll use. And I'll go ahead and smooth those out. Now, I just want to explain this because I think this is important. <clears throat> I'm mounting uh, this picture that I have sort of in reverse. Typically, you would mount it and then you'd put your front molding on. Um, but because this is a, you know, it's a log, it's a rough frame, I'm going to do it a little different. Um, I went ahead and put the front frame on first. And then I'm going to custom make the frame 
that I'm going to mount my canvas on and then that will just slide on top and then I'll put pins on to hold it to hold it down. Just put little clips on here to, to hold it down. All right, so again, you put the front frame on first. Now I'm going to go ahead and rasp these off and then just do a final finish on this inside of this frame and plane this a little. Okay, I'm just putting a, my first coat of tongue oil on here. Gonna let this dry, I'll buff it out by hand and then I'll go ahead and do two more coats of tongue oil. And while this is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quickly here what, um, what it is that we're gonna be framing. So my daughter is a wonderful photographer and she happened to get a shot of the main mast on the HMS Bounty shortly before it sunk off the coast of North Carolina in a hurricane. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on a frame that I'm um, custom making to fit this frame. And then we'll go ahead and mount that. But you see, that'll just look beautiful with that wood.